this way, the strangest sights from the island. Drinks from the four corners of the world. For two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar. We've got the show if you've got the dime. You won't see it on television. You won't see it on Broadway. Daylight. You won't even see it on foreign correspondence. It's showtime here on Coney Island. Got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Got the string around my finger. What a world! Like the music of Frank Sinatra, Coney Island is of a different time. A time when life was a little more simple and a little more innocent. Walking me. Today, the resort is a mere remnant of its former self. But from the late 1800s to the 1960s, Coney Island had no rival. Welcome to Coney Island, playground of the world. When this was in the heyday, there was nothing like it. It was so crowded. But it's the only, the only Ferris wheel that has those inbound and outbound cars on it. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. If you're afraid of heights, uh, don't take it. I scared the daylights out of you taking that thing. It's the widest and longest boardwalk in the world. Captain Bob is one of Coney Island's characters. We might even see somebody from the 260 Club here today. What's that? The 260 Club. Right. Those are girls that are under five feet tall that weigh over 260 pounds. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I believe these A tour guide now in his 70s, Captain Bob has been coming here since he was four. So this is where Steeplechase was. It was a magnificent three-arc Roman entrance to the entrance to Steeplechase. The parachute jump, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, 277 feet up from the ground in a parachute that was always open, had guide wires coming down, so you didn't go flying out to the sea. But when this was in the heyday, there was nothing like it. Based on 4th of July records, 1923, 500,000 on the beach. Uh, 1955, Five million on the beach. You want it to be loud and urban and full of half-naked New Yorkers. Dick Ziggin is Coney Island's unofficial mayor. Armed with a master's in drama from Yale, He's a passionate spruker for Coney Island's past, as well as its future. It is the place that invented a lot of what we consider an amusement park, the idea of an enclosed theme park, a Coney Island invention. We invented the roller coaster. We invented soft ice cream. And best of all, we invented the hot dog here. We're going to do something very, very special for you right now. It's a little preview. Dick is also the keeper of a cherished Coney Island tradition, the freak show. You will see the amazing human blockhead who takes giant spikes, whoa, like this screwdriver, and snaps it right back into the middle of his skull. Ah! <laughs> Yet he lives to laugh and joke about it. I get all wound up when I think about him. Maybe I have a screw loose. Better do the tighten up. But there's now a dark cloud hanging over Coney Island's unique brand of fun and the cheap entertainment it's offered to working New Yorkers for more than a century. It was the biggest, it was the best. It was Brooklyn, it was the energy of New York. And it simmered down because of all of the, uh, it's just old, it's fallen apart. 
Developers have recently bought up much of the land, and there are concerns about what next summer might bring. We've been partying on Coney Island Boardwalk for 15 years. You can bring your kids here, your family here. Your kids can play and have fun on the sand, while the parents, you know, party and have a good time. Enjoy their sand. And once they do redevelop, there's no telling whether or not they're going to permit us to continue doing this. The battle is whether we build new things that are an amusement park entertainment related or whether there's going to be a few token rides and then most of Coney Island turns into condos. Boo, hiss. We don't want that. Yeah, we all love Coney Island. It was the first place ever that was an amusement park, and that, that has a, a definite uh, uh, love for everybody here. last fireworks of the summer. For generations of New Yorkers, this is how a long Coney Island day ended. But tonight, no one's sure if the skies will light up again in quite the same way.